Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy John Zell Watson back again. Uh, I'm doing a tutorial, kind of just introducing Studio One instruments and effects. Uh, so, without further ado, let's just create a new song. Uh, see, as you click it, there's presets here. Um, for whatever you want to do, you can browse through those quick one. But um, I always do a new song, so just put new song. song uh, pretty much saves where all the other studios one stuff saves and uh, leave everything the way it is this is for people who making beats uh, so you hit okay and then um, this is what a blank session looks like on studio one three professional uh, and what I do is just say you're doing a hip-hop beat let's just you start the loop right here and just drag it all the way there put the loop on Set your tempo. That's what you do first. When I do my beats, I do that first. That's good, right? So 87, right? Then, okay, so right here, basically your browse is where you browse your instruments, your effects, your loops, your stuff right here. I just click the home. Uh, it shows everything right here, so... Like start instrument, press instrument, and for those of you guys who have Studio One Three Professional, you have stuff that came stock, some plugins that are stock. Just click, uh, click what you want. You feel me? Like for drums, they got Impact, which got a whole bunch of these drum kits. Like, for example, you take it, you drag it. Let's say you take Chiller's Joint, just a preset. It's a, it's a drum kit, and. got like uh, all types of stuff. I like the MVP. If you're more into like hip-hop, you know, you'll like uh, MVP. So all types of stuff. You just kind of go in and you'll find it. Use your MIDI controller. Um, yeah, that's for drums. They got uh, Mai Tai, which is pretty cool. Uh... You can pick whatever you like. I mean, everything's pretty simple here. Pick what you like, drums, bells, bass. I mean, anything that you like. Um, they got the Mojito. These are like leads and other stuff. I Honestly, I don't like these sounds. You, you're supposed to tweak them, make your own. But, you know, then there's presence. Presence to me is the best as far as uh, instruments. You got all these different instruments, you know, like artist instruments. You know, you go through the basses that they have. Same thing, you just drag it over, you know, and and pick what you like, you know, like a keyboard, you know, like a soft keyboard, acoustic, piano, you know, play. Yeah, anyways, so there's that. I mean, basically that's kind of how you do it. Um, so this is where all your instruments are. Now effects, um, which, by the way, you guys who sample, sample one is a pretty cool sampler. You just drag your sample, whatever you want to do, into here. You can pitch it. I mean, you can cut off, filter it. I mean, so many things you can do to your samples, man. It's pretty, pretty, pretty interesting. You can change the notes and all that. But anyways, moving on. Next, we have... Uh, effects, which are very important. These are effects. Uh, I got auto tune on mine. I know it doesn't come with auto tune, but you got to download some VSTs of your own. But um, comes with like Empire. It's like an amp, you know, the delay, auto filter. You know, like I said, auto tune and all these other Avox is like auto tune product things. Like for example, I got this throat Evo. It's pretty cool. You can make your own EQ of your throat. Which is pretty pretty tight, dude. It's pretty cool. Um, right click and you just want to turn it and delete a track. A right click and it removes a fifth key. Um, yeah, they got beat delays. They got, I mean, pretty much anything that you that you like. Compressors. You know, they got presets. You just click, you click it and you find what you like. They got rap vocal. 
uh, for like people who sing, they got compressor, um, even vocal compressor louder. You just tweak these effects, you know, like, well, what you do with your effect is, okay, let me remove this. You would drag it, say you like this right here. Say you like this piano, you know, uh, say you like that. And uh, by the way, there's effects in here. So like reverb is right here. So you don't have to go to the the effects right here. I showed you, but it's right here. Like if you want to delay, so just click this, the module. Now has a delay, you know, modulator. So, I mean, they even got this EQ. I mean, distortion, drive. So, I mean, this thing's pretty, pretty cool. Anyways. Um, so those are for like when you just want to use those quick effects, um, and then even all this other stuff, man, like filters, cutoff filters. Soft, make it hard, punch. So you see, that's totally more punch, more drive. I could change the sine wave of it. Kind of gives it that uh, grand sound. Anyway, so yeah, th those are those are the effects that come in present. Um, also, if you're looking at end cap and you want quick, if you click this to like, so that's a symbol. When you click it, you can it's highlighted blue, and you can cut off like like cut off filter. That's a resonance. Look for all these things. They tell you exactly what they are. Like, uh, you know. Envelope, velocity, I mean volume, pretty pretty cool. So yeah, I mean it goes for all that, transpose and all these things. Um, yeah, there's chorus effects for like your background vocals or like your choruses and stuff. You just drag it and bam, put it on whatever, uh, ver like you know, your track for like voice voices are tracks are like if you want your microphone track to start recording you go to track add audio track and it pops up right here you click this and you're on you see check 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 mic check one two one two so you know it's pretty pretty cool you know um how you can just drag stuff you know but yeah just fat channel you know and i'll show you guys more tutorials on how to mix vocals and how to mix instruments. So I'm just showing you where your instruments are, where your effects are. Studio One has a lot of stu stock plugins, and I do recommend, like, Open Air is a great one, Multi Band Dynamics. They even have a mastering tool on here. I mean, it's pretty cool, you know, like a phaser and EQs. I mean, you guys have equalizers and stuff like that. So go through your effects, and it's all right here. Don't get lazy, you know, just look for all this stuff. Some of this stuff won't be good at all for your stuff, but. Some of the stuff you can use that I probably have never used before. So, you know, and then there's loops. If you like loops, whatever. You know, hip hop loops. You know, even for like keyboard, like loops, like, you know, pretty cool stuff. You know. You know, so that's. Duplicate that and go like. I don't know. You know, you just gotta stretch it. Just time stretching so you can. Oh, well. Wait, how do I do the time stretching? I forgot. Now, I think I forgot how to do it. Yeah, I did. But either way, there's a way you do it. You set the tempo so it all goes. You know. I don't know. I'm just trying something, but th those are loops, you know. And I'm really not into loops. I'm a cr I'm a original kind of guy, uh, but they're they are here. Uh, yeah, the cloud and stuff. You got the SoundCloud stuff on here. Uh, put your stuff up on the internet. Yeah, I mean this thing is pretty cool. So, anyways, um, that's pretty much it for instruments and effects. Uh, I'll get more details into arranging a song later, but. There you go, man. Have fun. Enjoy it. <coughs> and uh, God bless you. Jesus loves you. Take care.